trainer. So uh, I don't know if it's the box, if it's his um, body language, but it's just, it's. It, I, I have a feeling that it's going to be a great set. So far, we're starting Pokemon Stadium 2. These uh, competitors actually both like it. I do recall Pyro uh, being Pyro's favorite selection of stage. Uh, but the fact that Reaper brought him here, either he's comfortable too, or he doesn't mind it at all. Look at him go for the tech, going for those wave landings, mixing up his uh, offensive approaches, and that's absolutely necessary in this matchup. But Pyro doing a phenomenal job at avoiding a lot of damage. Se está trabajando el stream. Creo que eres tú. Creo que sí. Sí, creo que eres tú porque porque no tengo frames tirados, entonces. Yo estoy viendo aquí el... el <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So far we got Jim. The Jim Reaper. The Ripper. Reaper making sure that uh, the pressure typically... Sí, 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 yo sé. Struggling to get something out. Gets the mash just appropriately. Careful here. Punished with the landing... The ending hitbox of the Darkest Lariat. Lariat with a great up smash punish from Pyro. Taking advantage of that first lead. Let's see how much he can extend it so far. Uh, I do enjoy quite a lot uh, the Reaper's uh, mobility options. I think they're on point and this could be a, yep, that's a revenge. And if you're not careful enough, if you get a lone whip, this could be a stock, but barely stopped. Oh, never mind. That is going to be another stock yet again taken, but an insanely well-placed Alolan whip gets the bury and the up smash. There's no way. There's absolutely no way that didn't that didn't take the stop. In the end, it is the up air that finally managed to take Pyro's first stop. I'm telling you, he's playing on fire. Uh, no pun intended with his name and his character. It's not my fault he picked his name. <laughs> it just makes it easy to make a pun. But so far, doing a phenomenal job at keeping the Reaper on edge, which is uh, somewhat surprising in this matchup, to be honest with you guys. To be perfectly honest, but so far, uh, Reaper doing a great job at uh, bringing the pain back. Great grab. It was actually a pivot grab, if I recall correctly. But just like that, the stop could be gone. And yes, things are not quite over yet. If I'm honest with you, if someone can bring it back, it's Inkling. But he, the the hurdle is going to be huge because it's. Uh, Pyro's Incineroar that is not only turned up, up it's also within its claws. Without its maws getting that uh, insane side B, the yellow and whip, allows Pyro to get game number one. Oh, 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 I made a mistake. There you go. There you go, so it's time for the Reaper's counter pick. I don't know if we're going to be seeing a character swap. I don't believe so. I, I think his Inkling did pretty well. Taking it to last stock. Now, if the, the what's next to see is what his levels of adaptation look like in order to deal with a with a powered up by you guys in chat, the pyro. Right, all right, all right. Next game. Potentially the last one, depending on how well the Reaper adapts to this playstyle. Getting the uh, the color swap, which is a, a very interesting psychological option. You gotta be always be careful of Inklings. I always really sick in me. Oh, almost getting the spike. I believe the Splat Bomb barely saved him there. Oh, this could be a good opportunity for a reversal. But Pyro struggling to find anything. I'm sorry, uh, Reaper struggling to find anything out of those edge guards. While on the other side, in contrast, Pyro going for the spikes, going for the pressure on ledge, and of course another, yet another Alolan whip sending him from the left side of the stage to the complete opposite. And the darkest Lariat doing once again God's work in order to keep this inkling off stage for as long as possible before. That, that first stock is inevitably taken with a backer. Great job from Pyro, doing a phenomenal 
uh, display of skills and of course how relentless he can be when it comes to putting pressure on despite the fact that he's facing a bit of an unfavorable matchup. Look at him go chasing down Inkling as the pain is dished out. Trying to go for the spikes. Getting a bit of a weird interaction there. Those hitboxes can be a little tricky sometimes. Oh, but the fact that Pyro is taking advantage of every single explosive uh, projectile that uh, Reaper is putting out is just so, so hard to deal with. Gets the break. No mashing, at least not fast enough in order to get the confirm that the Reaper was looking for. And still not being able to find anything. It's off stage. God, oh, trying to go for the spike. This could be a regret punish. And it's not, but the spike. No, barely mistiming it. Getting some fumbles by the ledge. But still doing a phenomenal job at that. Pyro still not willing to let go of his first stock. He wants to get the clean 3 0. And he gets it that's gonna be impossible to survive pyro taking an insane two game two game advantage against reaper one more opportunity because i do believe this is a best of five is this a uh, winner's finals i have to check All right, all right, all right. Well, we get a character swap, which to me, never mind. Wait, is that a fumble? Is that a, okay, never mind. All right, we're going back to the tried and true, which is is going to be the inkling for a second of hesitation. Me Gunner was about to come out, but we're going back into Pokemon Stadium 2. Pyro once again taking advantage of the uh, projectiles that uh, that um, Inkling can't put out. Give me one second. All right, there you go. Sorry about that. I just had to uh, double check that audio was fine, and that's probably gonna be a stop. Yikes! That's something that Incineroar can pride himself in. Oh, that's gonna be another one. Yes, stock for stock. I like it. It's perfectly balanced. Great splat bomb. Now, now the Reaper has turned up, and now he's putting Iro in a very difficult situation. Despite the fact that they're now even in terms of percentages, you can tell that the Reaper changed something in his playstyle, or at least making it a little bit more erratic, so that the Pyro cannot run away with uh, what his usual place playstyle was. Still getting caught by those darkest lariats, so that's something that uh, Reaper needs to change in order to avoid getting punished, or at least into a deadly fashion. Oh wow, oh this is dangerous. Great grab to ensure that he doesn't get too punished. I love that combination. He's not going to be able to recover. Great job from the Reaper, he's still not out. Still another opportunity. This could be his last, last chance to bring the set back. And he manages to survive incredible despite the dash attack from from Incineroar. Getting caught once again in dark, uh, the darkest lair yet. But in the end it was the forward tilt which managed to take the stock. Bishoto, se escucha bien todo? No ocupas que le suba nada? Dime bien si escuchas. Si ocupas hacer algún cambio de audio, por favor. Si no, muchas gracias. Oh no, this could be very bad. This could be very bad. Pyro really wants to get that spike. And still forcing all this away. That's gonna be it. Wow. Wow. Very, very tough situation because the Reaper seemed to be in the right mindset, the right place, the right levels of adaptation. But then again, Pyro going at it again with an alone whip 